Hello, Matthew here. I hope you're well and keeping safe. Um, as you probably know, the Epiphany season just concluded today with Transfiguration Sunday and with our Polka worship. Uh, and so that means that this coming Wednesday is Ash Wednesday when we begin the season of Lent. This year for Lent, I wanted to introduce a new liturgy. <clears throat> Back in the fall, um, in November, Augsburg Fortress published a, a worship supplement to our uh, hymnal uh, called All Creation Sings. All Creation Sings includes two new settings of the uh, order of worship for uh, communion uh, and about 200 hymns, uh, most of which were written in the last 10 or 15 years. Uh, we'd like to introduce you to some of these uh, hymns, but we'll start with uh, a setting of the liturgy that I think is uh, particularly uh, beautiful. We have recorded four elements of this liturgy that we'll be using during the season of Lent. And then as we move from Lent into Easter, we'll introduce uh, a few more of the uh, pieces. So let's start with the Kyrie. Uh, this uh, ancient hymn, Kyrie eleison, uh, is Greek, and it actually, the, the, the words of this, uh, of this liturgical song uh, translate that. So first we sing Kyrie eleison, and then it's translated uh, Lord have mercy, and then we sing Christe eleison, which is also translated Christ have mercy, and then it repeats uh, Kyrie eleison one more time. And so with that, let's uh, listen to this uh, version of the of the Kyrie, which you'll be hearing at the Ash Wednesday service, and we'll incorporate in our uh, worship services throughout the season of Lent. Next, we have the Lenten response, uh, which is a liturgical element that we sing in the season of Lent uh, in place of the gospel acclamation. Uh, this is, uh, I think, a particularly beautiful melody, and this melody links with the Holy, Holy, Holy that is part of the Eucharistic liturgy. The Lenten response is uh, an, an allusion to a really famous passage in Romans 8, um, where Paul writes, um, for I'm convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. And as I uh, mentioned about the Lenten response, the Holy, Holy, Holy is uh, thematically related. It's, it's basically the same melody, um, and that uh, helps link the service together. So this is the Holy, Holy, Holy from this setting of the liturgy, uh, which um, you recall is a part of the Eucharistic liturgy.
the last of the four liturgical elements we're introducing uh, uh, during the season of Lent uh, is a, a really beautiful song, uh, Be Known to Us, Lord Jesus, which uh, is sung in place of the Lamb of God. Uh, this is uh, right at the uh, end of the Eucharistic liturgy and during the uh, beginning of the distribution. Thanks for joining me today. I've enjoyed introducing this setting of the liturgy. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. I have uh, several additional resources for you. Uh, I'm, I'm making available the audio track of these four liturgical elements, if you'd like to download those and, and listen to them. Uh, and I also have a, a, uh, a handout of the lyrics of these four, uh, which will also be available, obviously, uh, in the worship service, the order of worship. Um, as we live stream. If you have questions or comments for me about this setting of the liturgy or about um, the worship supplement, feel free to email me at music at clcgtn.org. Until next time, be well. <laughs>